So Alberta's energy minister, Margaret McQuaig Boyd, is taking an all expense paid junket to China this weekend. $33,000. So first class all the way. They'll check out the Great Wall of China, I'm sure. They'll check out the Forbidden City. It's going to be awesome. A tourist's dream, a vacation of a lifetime paid for by Alberta taxpayers. Now, McQuaig Boyd says it's not a vacation. She says it's for business. Here, let me quote her. She says, China represents enormous potential as both a customer and investor for Alberta's energy industry, maintaining strong relationships with the world's largest energy consumer will open future opportunities for Alberta as a global energy supplier. That's what she told reporters. Well, she's right about that, I guess. China is an enormous energy customer, and right now it buys conflict oil from OPEC dictatorships like Iran and Saudi Arabia. Wouldn't it be amazing to displace that conflict oil with Canadian ethical oil. I mean, China itself is an unethical dictatorship. It's true, but it's buying oil every day no matter what. So the world would actually be marginally improved, ethically speaking, if we took that money for us instead of letting the Saudis or Iranians or Russians get it, right? But that's the problem. McQuaig Boyd and her boss, Rachel Notley, and her boss, Toronto Chief of Staff Brian Topp, they're viciously opposed to the Northern Gateway Pipeline that would take 550,000 barrels of Alberta oil to the BC coast every day for sale to China. Notley has this weird thing where she disparages selling crude oil by calling it raw, unprocessed bitumen. She says it's just too valuable to sell to foreigners. Here, take a look for yourself. Our position on the Keystone was that if we ship uh, unprocessed bitumen to Texas, according to this government and to the American government, we will give tens of thousands of Alberta jobs to Texas, not to Albertans, and that's not what Albertans want to see. So normally I'd say go, spend 33 grand of taxpayers' money, stay at five-star hotels, climb the Great Wall, knock yourself out, because selling 550,000 barrels of Alberta oil every day, well, that's worth $25 million a day to Alberta, at these world prices as low as they are. Although really, I don't think you need a salesman to sell oil. I think people pretty much buy it anyways. But can you tell me if McQuaig Boyd and her boss, Rachel Notley, and her boss, Brian Topp, are against selling crude oil to any foreigner, and if they're against the pipeline to the West Coast in particular that would sell it to China, why lie about turning China into a customer? And who are you lying to, the Chinese? or to Alberta taxpayers. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm Ezra Levant. Ow! We're building a studio. Help us out. Click here or visit buildthedream.ca.